Nothing in the world of winemaking is debated more than how much oak is in your wine. France grows oak trees in huge quantities. Nearly a quarter of the country is covered by forest. And while other countries like Hungary and the United States produce oak barrels, French oak has become the standard by which all others are judged. The art of barrel making, known as cooperage, is thousands of years old. And the actual barrel making process has changed very little over the years. To get the highest standards of quality, most work is still done by hand by a highly skilled cooper. After selecting the best wood staves, the cooper assembles the barrel with spectacular speed. The process is called mise en rose, or raising the barrel. The cooper forces three metal hoops over the staves to hold the barrel in place, and then sets it over an open fire. A metal winch is secured around the bottom of the barrel, then tightened. The fire begins to heat up the wood, and the hoops are banged into place. The cooper wets the barrels, and the combination of heat and humidity make the wood fiber flexible. Now the cooper can tighten and gradually arch the wood staves until they form the shape of a barrel. Then more hoops are added to hold the barrel in place. After the barrel is formed, the only machine used in the process trims the ends of the barrel to cut the groove that receives the barrel heads. How long the barrels are heated results in different toast levels, which influence the taste of the wine. When the barrels are heated, natural sugar elements in the wood caramelize and develop aromas such as vanilla or butter that can be found in the final taste of the wine. But too much oak can overpower subtle flavors and make the wine too tannic. I prefer to drink uh, wine than to drink wood. My philosophy is not to put too much oak on the wine. That means in my cellar I put about 15-20% new oak. All the other barrels are older. Oak barrels also allow the wine to breathe, and this steady supply of oxygen turns the wine softer and more complex as it ages. We are making here wine to age, and that is very different from wine of the New World. In the New World, the wine are very good quite rapidly after bottling. Here, the white and the red must be, take, must be in bottle minimum three, four years, and uh, the first two, three years, the aroma are not very evident and the taste is a little sharp, a little hard, but after two, three years in bottles, little by little the, the wine becomes more fruity and a bouquet, the nose of the wine, develop a lot of different aroma and that gives the complexity of the wine. Oak and soil have an enormous influence on the wines of Burgundy and so does climate. Burgundy enjoys warm summers but winters can be long and cold and a late frost in spring can spell disaster. But all that changes when you head south. You know you've arrived in the south of France when the sky turns azure.